Hi, MasterWoodsman.com here. I'm Joe Flowers, and we're at Practice What You Preach in North Carolina. And I'm here with Jeff Venture, owner of Mule Team Canvas Company. And uh, he's going to show us uh, the Pack One Personalized Accessory Canvas Knapsack. Correct, I think yeah. It is. Personally cool. accessorized canvas knapsack. It's a uh, base backpack made of a uh, 15 ounce heavyweight canvas. It's undyed and untreated. So you can dye it up uh, using common household or you know backwoods methods like walnut cool. to uh, make whatever dye you whatever color you want the bag to be and we're going to show you how to waterproof it with a mixture of uh, beeswax and paraffin today now jeff why do we want to use wax and paraffin on canvas well canvas itself is actually a little bit waterproof you can get a little rain on it it'll actually keep the water out for a while but by putting the beeswax on it it definitely makes the canvas shed the water you can take it out in the rain what you got inside is not going to get wet it, it lasts better the dew in the mornings, doesn't stay on it, you shake it off. Cool, and I think it kind of looks better too, just personally. It does look really nice, actually. And I've been dying to learn about this uh, this process because I've got a lot of canvas stuff at my house as the smoke keeps blowing in our faces. <laughs> um, I've got a lot of canvas stuff at my house that I've tried to uh, evenly coat, and I think Jeff's going to give us some tricks, uh, tricks here to coat up our canvas. There's a lot of different ways. You'll find a lot of different recipes online. As long as it works with cotton, it should work with the pack one. What I like to use is a mixture of 90% beeswax, 10% paraffin by volume. Yes, go bees. And uh, you mix it right up in a pot. You can put in the fire or you can uh, heat up on a burner. Uh, once you get liquid, you uh, just need a uh, natural bristle brush. Okay. Now you want to do this, Joe, or you want me to do no, it? No, no, I, I okay, like to watch right. you do it. No, all right, no. need a natural bristle brush. Why does it have to be natural bristle? Well, if it's one of the foam brushes or any kind of synthetic, the heat from the, the wax might actually melt it and then ruin your pack. Oh. It's okay. not going to cut. It'll deteriorate the brush. You can see I've used this one for three or four packs, and it's still pretty good. Uh, bigger's better, but yeah, one inch ain't too bad for what we're doing here. Okay. You, uh, careful, everything's hot. You uh, dip your brush in. Make sure you get a lot of molten wax on there and you just stroke it on the pack. It's gonna look like right there. Okay. That'll be real close to the color it's gonna look like when you hit it with the heat gun. So it looks like, like people say, it looks like you're spreading butter on it. Yeah, you're right, it does look like that. <laughs> but uh, when it's real hot, it penetrates really well like that, which when you do the heat gun, that's gonna ensure that you get the, the most. The part where it looks like it's not really coated, there's yeah. actually wax there. It's oh, just okay. a very tiny amount. The bigger amount is hitting and drying instantly when it sets up as fast as possible. Now, the way to get the even coating, which is what you're gonna do, which will provide the best waterproofing, is uh, after you've coated the entire item with wax mm -hmm. on all the canvas parts, you can take a heat gun, set on low, and just pass it over a few inches away, and uh, you will see the wax start to melt again, and it will soak into the fibers. The fiber will actually drink it up, Okay. And it will become this buttery color, like very similar to that. Awesome. Even tone, that's what you want. Move the, move the gun on to the next piece and you'll see all those lumps disappear. But if you don't have access to a, uh, a heat gun, you can uh, sometimes get it to soften enough by setting it out on flat in a sunny area. The sun will just sit there over the course of the hours of the day and it will slowly melt it, permeate it in. It's not quite as good as a heat gun, but it will work in a pinch. Here's a pack one after treating it with the beeswax and the heat gun treatment. It took on a wonderful color. It's a little bit stiff. I just need to start working the fibers and actually using it. I was over at Blade Show this weekend and they said there's going to be a buckle version, not just this uh, plastic version, as well as an option. I was really, really happy to learn about this waxing method. I can't wait to do it on some of my other canvas. You can see that the pack one has two areas right here that you can put stuff in and then a big part right here i actually might try and keep this stiff instead of working the fibers and making it supple because it actually stays open like this so i can find stuff a little bit easier than just a big flappy pack where everything falls around when i'm going to a class or something really cool setup thank you jeff venture for showing me how to do that now what other what other um things is your company coming out with well, we uh we have uh, the tin packer, which is a uh, well. This does you know push yeah, the smoke away. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, we have the tin packer, which is a uh, small pouch size for an Altoids tin survival kit. This is the uh, Mule Team Canvas Company's tin packer. It's our portable pouch designed for holding a Altoids tin size for that type of survival kit, fishing kit, first aid kit, as a main compartment, and also a uh, upper compartment. Uh, you can see 
All of our stuff is made in the USA. Um, a lot of times the tin packer, uh, the survival tins, you don't take them with you because they're bulky in the pocket. Well, this way you can just slip it on and off your belt or on and off your uh, your pack, wherever you need. It's kind of modular. has a little bit of modularity to it. has that nice old school canvas feel. Like all the other canvas products pack that uh, Mule Team Canvas produces, like the Pack 1, the, uh, the canvas is dyeable and uh, you can treat it, waterproof it. It's easily repairable and sewable. It just needs needle and thread. That's the uh, tin packer from Mule Team Canvas Company.